So one time in the airport, I saw an iPad in a vending machine. I said, Psh, see me when you sell cars. I think someone from Carvana actually heard me. Yeah, used cars in a vending machine. It's a thing. This show is a thing too. I'm Jock Slade and this is Autoplay. The new 2020 Ferrari 812 GTS is a 790 horsepower front engine V12 convertible and it's Ferrari's first one in almost 50 years. There have been a few V12s in recent years, but none of those were convertibles. This V12 is a 6.5 liter with 530 pounds of torque, which makes it the most powerful convertible currently in production, hitting 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds. Instead of a solid roof, it has a folding hardtop design. The regular version with the roof starts at about 335,000, so this convertible version will most likely be a little bit more than that. I mean, if you're spending that much anyway, what's a little bit more? Might as well get the convertible. Just Yo, have any of you guys heard about the new Lexus LY650? It has 270 bhp and it floats. Yep, it floats because it's a boat. Nachos, lemon heads, my dad's boat. A luxury yacht if you want to get really technical. Lexus teamed with Marquise Yachts for the build, which consists of carbon fiber and glass fiber, reinforced plastic for the hull. Electric? Nope. Nah. It's powered by two Volvo engines that combined can hold over 1,000 gallons of gas. The inside is designed by Italian studio Nuvolari Lennard, and it's decked out in a luxury luxurious white and wood spread throughout three rooms that can sleep up to six people. There are touch screens to control things like the air conditioning and the lighting, although it doesn't sound like Lexus actually built anything for this boat, but it does have their logo on the side. If you can, hit up a Lexus dealer for us and let us know if they have it in stock. I want to get my rap video on. So you know the new 2020 Mustang GT500 Shelby that we've mentioned a while back? Well, Ford has recently launched the online configuration tool for this high-powered machine, and it gives you all of the different packages and options so you can actually get a general idea of what your new Mustang is going to cost you. Want to build an updated version of Eleanor from the Gone in 60 Seconds movie? Well, if you want the stripes painted down the middle of the body, it'll cost you about $10,000. Yeah, that's a 10 with a comma and three more zeros after that. That's four zeros all together. Granted, you can do the stripes in vinyl for about $9,000 less, but if you're gonna do it, then you know, just go for it, right? Right? Do it. Do it. There are tons of options available, like a $3,000 technology package that includes a 12 speaker system, but if you're really trying to ball out, you're gonna want the carbon fiber track pack. It'll tack on about the price of another car hitting you with another $18,500. So this is what I did. I went over to Ford's website. I customized the Mustang with everything that I wanted. I looked at the interior, the exterior photos and looked at the price and you know, then I just closed the window, you know, cause that's the reasonable thing to do. No, 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 that shit can always be recovered. We gotta smash your laptop with a hammer. The Fast and the Furious 9 isn't set to release until May of next year, but that hasn't stopped the star of the film from sharing some behind the scene clips on his Instagram. Vin Diesel posted a clip of him on set with Michelle Rodriguez, where you get to catch a glimpse of his heavily modified Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat widebody. Be better outside. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's probably week 13. Yeah, we got the and device. We are here. Yeah, that's right. And well, that's right. Yeah. Filming Fast Man. Get some. Alongside the two stars and returning cast members such as Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, Jordan Brewster, and Natalie Emmanuel will be John Cena who will be making his Fast and Furious debut. There isn't much out there about the plot of the film, but a 2020 Toyota Supra has been spotted on set. It's sporting the same day glow orange as the Mark IV Supra that Brian, aka Paul Walker's character, drove in the very first movie. If that doesn't hit you with a heavy shot of nostalgia, you probably weren't hugged enough as a child or as an adult. Hey, bring it in. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Autoplay. I'm Jacques Slade. As always, if you have a story you want us to cover, hit us up in the DMs. Otherwise, I'll see you in the streets. Peace.